mean, um, nature is here for a reason, and when man comes in and decides that his needs and his ideas are far more important than the existence of his environment, its natural state, I mean, that's where we have problems. And I mean, the issue of global warming has to do with man's mentality towards the biodiversity around him and how he feels it, its uh, significance in his, his own life, or his, in his existence. Like sometimes they see an abundance in, uh, say for example, fish in this area, and then to, uh, to nowadays they don't see much of it anymore. And the things in the forest too, due to the logging and deforestation, they see some of the habitats being destroyed and some of the animals which they usually go hunt for, they don't find them anymore. Mm -hmm. And some people just don't, uh, their lifestyles have changed, so people don't do hunting and go into the bush or the sea too much. They're in, more employed now these days, so they just don't know what's really happening about biodiversity. Overpopulation, um, lack of awareness on the importance of their resources, and also like the pressure put on those resources due to like, you know, much of them becoming, people say that you know, they uh, there's monetary value in them. Um, I mean, in Port Mosby here, we've, we've had, a, um, it's currently one of the fastest growing uh, um, cities in the South Pacific. We've had many developments and um, I think a lot, of, a lot of times for our people, we, we think more of development than we don't consider how our developments affect the environment and how that, that will affect us. In the when mining companies and logging companies, they um, they uh, cause a lot of damage to the environment. The country is, uh, the government isn't putting much policies on how the logging should take place. They always make clear felling and just take out everything regardless of uh, they should be done in this way for sustainable measures. Mm -hmm. um, that's like mostly found in the media. I haven't seen what logging company, how they cut trees. But yeah, so they destroy everything, all the habitats, all the ecosystems, and this affects nature. So. Uh, think that if we can actually put more trees, I'm not sure there or here, but at least more trees in the country, we can at least uh, minimize this problem. But otherwise, we're just heading to one direction. Mm. We don't want to make a desert of Papua New Guinea. You see a lot of pressure, fishing pressure. Uh, most uh, fish species uh, becoming sort of depleted and uh, trying to monitor this over time to see whether there's a change. And hopefully, come up uh, due to I mean, from our from the results we get, uh, come up with some good say, management strategies to to work with the locals to manage their resources, fish. I think recently, I think there's been a heat wave. I mean, we can say you no, know, it's part of the dry season, but when the dry season is longer than what it used to be ten years ago, then there is a problem. can see it for yourself in Port Mosby. Uh, it's just two, two kinds of uh, weather. So you've got wet season, so you've got dry season, wet season, and we've had more dry season than wet season. And for the people here, where a majority of our people are not, don't have uh, a regular job, more, they're more subsistence farmers. That's, that, that causes a lot of problems for us. And we all can't afford food from the shops. We go to the market and, you know, it's just a domino effect.